Hi, my name is Randall Crowder, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Funware. And today I want to talk about the rise of our mass platform or multi-screen as a service. Of course, before I do, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that by viewing this presentation, you acknowledge you have read and understand this disclaimer and very important notices. So why mass? Why now? Well, to understand where we're going, you have to understand where we've been. Funware was founded back in 2009 with a simple premise, when less than 5% of internet content was consumed on mobile. Let's give brands everything they need to succeed on mobile as they transition from the web in a desktop environment. Fast forward to today, and it's no longer good enough to just have a mobile presence, especially in light of what's going on with COVID-19. Brands are racing to embrace and drive digital transformation. The process of leveraging technology to better engage consumers and transform the digital human experience. The past decade has been the era of passive mobile applications, these content repositories that require the user to drive. But as digital transformation takes hold, we'll transition from a Hey Siri generation to a Hey Randall generation as our cell phones are transformed into more of a mobile concierge. We're not there yet. But if you're watching this presentation, you'll never be able to say, I wish I saw it coming. I'm here to tell you, it's coming. Just think about what happened with Netflix. No, not the fact that Blockbuster could have bought them for $50 million, rather the fact that it was an idea ahead of its time. It was interesting from a movies on demand perspective, but mailing DVDs was never going to scale. Of course, when's the last time you watched a DVD? Thanks to Moore's law, technology caught up with the promise of Netflix. And now we have streaming wars. The same thing is happening with engagement, where it's no longer good enough to just have a mobile application. As companies roll out the infrastructure to allow for connectivity and GPS-like functionality both indoors and out, the world will never be the same again, because engagement will become ubiquitous, proactive, and omnipresent. I mean, think about the last time you bought something in a store. I guarantee you it was a dumb experience. The only times you engaged with technology were probably passing an RF signal to open a door or swiping your card to make a purchase. With our mass platform specifically designed to drive digital transformation, brands will be able to easily curate all of the information in the virtual world in order to inform your real world experiences. Remember that scene from Minority Report where Tom Cruise is walking through the mall of the future and the displays are seamlessly personalized or when he walks into Gap and the hologram engages him based on his purchase history? That's a reality Funware can deliver right now. Mass is an enterprise cloud platform for mobile that tech enables this marriage of data and opportunity so brands can deliver one-to-one -one interactions at scale. By standardizing on mass, brands can get the right content to the right user on the right screen at the right time in the right place in order to drive profitable behavior. This fundamental shift in how consumers are engaged represents a transformational opportunity for Funware and our shareholders. We are working to do with mass for mobile engagement what Amazon did for cloud storage with AWS. As we head into 2021, our target operating model is 30% year-over-year growth at 75% plus gross margins. As we continue to drive operational efficiency, we are confident that we will reach break-even in terms of operating cash as well as adjusted EBITDA. We expect to achieve this by the end of the first half of 2021. In light of that, let's look at how we're commercializing mass, multi-screen as a service our enterprise cloud platform for mobile that companies can license in order to access everything they need to succeed on mobile. As a SaaS company, Funware's mass platform has three pricing plans, basic, plus, and premium. A basic deployment of mass is for enterprise customers who want to leverage fully integrated, pre-built mass optimizations by industry without the need for too many integrations. These are typically one to five year contracts ranging from $350,000 to $750,000 with higher margin recurring license revenue making up approximately 80% of the total contract value. Using our proprietary modular application framework, we can often deploy a basic mobile application portfolio within just weeks. For enterprise customers who already contract with software vendors to address features like parking management, productivity tools, access control, we offer plus package to give them a full instance of mass along with integrations to these other systems by standardizing on mass our customers are able to use their mobile application portfolio to bring together disparate vendors and functionality in order to drive utilization and ultimately roi in effect we provide one application to rule them all 
so users have everything they need for one-to-one -one interactions literally in the palm of their hands. These contracts typically range from three to five years and often cost up to $1.5 million, requiring slightly more time and money to optimize their company-specific integrations. We also offer a premium package for enterprise customers who are interested in a more advanced mobile application portfolio, including unique customizations for advanced use cases and feature sets. These customers may be interested in cutting edge enhancements on mobile unique to their operating environment and can even become a channel to sell similar capabilities to their own customer base as well. In these situations, there's usually a higher cost to build a mobile application portfolio and a recurring contract for subsequent use, support, and deployments. These engagements start in the low seven digits and can easily become multi-million dollar engagements over the life of the underlying contracts. Now, as we look back on the past year with our focus on new mass deployments under this pricing model, our target LTV to CAC or lifetime value to customer acquisition cost is four to one, while we have already achieved gross margins over 70%. To better illustrate our sales strategy, you can see here a sample set of deals by plan. For example, in the wake of the ongoing pandemic, we have seen a lot of interest in our mass optimization for healthcare, known as a digital front door. Exacerbated by the ongoing pandemic, many healthcare systems are scrambling to accelerate their digital transformation initiatives and see our mass platform as a key part of their strategy. Often lacking a large technical team and under considerable budget constraints, our basic plan gives them critical functionality like wayfinding and mobile engagement out of the box and at a reasonable price point. We're also seeing a lot of interest in our smart workplace solution as enterprise customers look to not only return to work, but also better engage their workforce. For most large enterprise customers, we recommend our plus plan because they often look to integrate numerous vendors to create a seamless experience for their employees, as well as visitors before, during, and after visits to the office. Connected intelligent buildings are becoming table stakes and having a mobile concierge is imperative, whether you're booking space, managing occupancy, contact tracing, or just looking for a coworker. However, some of our customers are thinking even bigger. For example, although the Trump campaign app was able to license key features of the mass platform to ensure reliability at scale, Trump's campaign team wanted to deploy a mobile application portfolio, the likes of which the world has never seen. Politics aside, these innovative and category-defining enhancements on mobile required an ongoing contract that took advantage of Funware's ability to rapidly design, deploy, and support mobile application portfolios that, I mean, let's face it, eclipsed what Biden's campaign team was able to accomplish. As complex of all, as all of this sounds, Mass has been, it's been literally built to scale and offers companies a software as a service that delivers all of the features and functionality necessary to succeed on mobile. Although we've been selling mostly direct to date, we've been using this experience to develop an industry leading platform that can be distributed through a global reseller network. From Wi-Fi to smart lighting, to access control, to organizations tasked with driving digital transformation, our enterprise cloud platform is a synergistic upsell cross-sell opportunity for our indirect channel partners. In fact, we anticipate that some of our premium customers will help drive our indirect channel strategy, building first for their own needs before distributing through their customer base. However, in parallel, we will continue to opportunistically sell direct by responding to specific customer requests who are proactively looking for solutions like ours. See, it's important to remember that Funware is not new to mobile. Founded in 2009, we got our start building world-class mobile application portfolios for the NFL, NASCAR, Fox, WWE, CBS, and many others who understood early on that a mobile device represents some of the most valuable real estate on the planet to a brand because it's connected to a network and let's face it, always with a customer. Fast forward to today, and we have invested well over $150 million through a combination of both private and public financing, debt and customer funded R&D. It's this customer funded R&D construct that causes the decline in top line revenue you see leading into 2020. The majority of this decline is due to a conscious effort to transition from non-recurring lower margin revenue like Fox, shown here by the red bar chart, to recurring higher margin revenue like the previously mentioned deals we closed this year. We use this business to avoid having to raise even more dilutive financing, but it was never going to be our long-term strategy. The revenue that would allow us to scale and achieve higher trading multiples is our mass subscription and services revenue. So by focusing on this revenue, as represented by the blue bar chart, 
you can see that revenue is actually trending up and to the right as we continue to improve our gross margins, increase our average contract size, and extend our average contract length in parallel. As we move forward, we'll continue to point towards key metrics like backlog and deferred revenue, since we recognize revenue over the lifetime of the contracts we execute, which are typically 12 to 60 months in length. In line with our previous guidance, while we did see a decline in the second quarter, it represented a low watermark for us as customers struggled with challenges brought on by the global pandemic. Fortunately, we came out of Q2 strong with more than a 40% sequential increase in net revenues to over $3 million in Q3. Much of the activity we're seeing is focused around smart cities for local governments, digital front doors for healthcare systems, smart workplace solutions for corporations to support a safer return to work, smart campus solutions for institutes of higher education to support a safer return to school, and of course, advocacy for organizations and agencies looking to better engage their constituents. And lastly, I wanna take a second to highlight why we think Fundware is such a compelling investment opportunity. Fundware became publicly traded by merging with a special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC, back in December of 2018, right before the government shutdown. Since there was less than half a million dollars left in the SPAC at close, Fundware basically affected a direct listing with very little public float or you know, freely trading shares, which in turn created an incredible short squeeze. Unfortunately, the SEC delayed our standard resale registration statement to register warrants held by the SPAC investors. This allowed those SPAC investors to cashless exercise millions of warrants, creating immense downward price pressure as they arbitraged our stock price with an $11 exercise price, selling with a cost basis of zero. On the flip side, this situation has created what we feel is a compelling investment opportunity, considering the fact that Fundware hasn't been valued this low since 2012. Given that Fundware is trading at less than 4x revenue, there is an opportunity for a strong return on investment by merely achieving what we feel is an average multiple for a public SaaS company that has multi-year contracts and recurring revenue. In closing, we'd encourage anyone interested in learning more to visit Fundware.com or Investors.Fundware.com. Thanks for tuning in and remember, Fundware is the right company at the right time to deliver on the promise of digital transformation in a mobile first world that is quickly becoming mobile only.